इसीलिए आज एक रोमन फिलोसोफर को कोट किया In 1947, Jammu and Kashmir had a Muslim majority, which, according to the standards of partition, meant it should have become part of Pakistan. However, the Hindu Maharaja decided, in the face of a potential Pakistani onslaught, to choose India. As a result, Jammu and Kashmir became the only Indian state with a Muslim majority. In 1989, an insurgency began, following allegations of vote rigging on behalf of Delhi. Estimates suggest that between 31,000 and 84,000 civilians lost their lives in the conflict, which has also been accompanied by massive human rights violations by the Indian Army. <laughs> A particular source of tension is the massive Indian military presence in Kashmir, which at times makes the West Bank look like butlins. While no formal figure has been given, estimates suggest that there are around 400,000 to 500,000 troops stationed in the state. What's obvious to any visitor to the valley uh, is that its population is not Indian, ethnically more similar to their Muslim compatriots in the north of Pakistan or Afghanistan. The Kashmiris are singularly proud about their identity. Had Kashmir become part of Pakistan in 1947, maybe they would have been assimilated into the new nation. Rule from Delhi, however, has left the Kashmiris almost to a man singularly determined to achieve independence. जोलू सर रहा था लेकिन जब हम वहाँ पर पहुँचे खान साहब में खान साहब तक पुलिस था उन्होंने रोकने की कोशिश की लेकिन अगर वो कहते कि आप वहाँ पर जाओ कुछ गलत हो लेकिन उन्होंने ऐसा बोला ही नहीं सिर्फ हायरिंग की शैलिंग की बस ऐसे सिर्फ गोलियाँ बरसाते रहे तो फिर कोने में एक जे के पुलिस का आदमी लिखा और सीधी सीधी फायरिंग फेंक दी लोगों के ऊपर जिसमें सैमिर अहमद वानी जो है शहीद आप उस टाइम वहाँ पे हाजिर थे तो ये जो इंडिया कह रहा है कि दुनिया के सामने वहाँ बेरोजगारी है इसकी वजह से वहाँ लोग एहतजाज कर रहे हैं ऐसा बिल्कुल है ही नहीं ऐसा बिल्कुल कश्मीर में है ही नहीं कश्मीर का हर एक बंदा चाहे माँ बोले चाहे बहन बोली चाहे बूढ़ा बोले चाहे बच्चा बोले सब इस वक्त बोलते हैं आजादी 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 सॉफ्ट पावर इन दर्ल्ड The Kashmiri question is unlikely to enter the world's consciousness in the same way as Tibet or Palestine. This potentially makes it even more dangerous. The Indian government is making a mistake if it believes that the relative recent calm and increased prosperity in the state means that a status quo is setting in. All it takes is a cursory look to see the vast majority of people want independence or at least hugely increased autonomy, not to mention a withdrawal of Indian troops. मुस्लिम है हम हम हुकूमत चाहती है मुसलमानों की यहाँ मुसलमानों की हुकूमत है लेकिन हिंदुस्तान से मिले जुले हैं ये मुसलमानों की हुकूमत नहीं है यहाँ मुसलमान किन की मुस्लिम कानून बनने चाहिए इस्लाम मीन्स डेमोक्रेसी इस्लाम मीन्स पीस एंड वी बिलीव इन दैट दॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ द मुस्लिम इज क्वाइट एन इंटरेस्टिंग वन आर प्रॉफिट मोहम्मद मुस्लिम उमर एज वन बॉडी You see, when one part of the body gets hurt, the entire body suffers. Uh, unfortunately, we have not lived up to that description. We've created division in the name of religion. We've not only created staunch nationalism in our countries, but also created and gave birth to racism as well to enter into our faith. And this is why we are in this situation right now. The reason why we're in this situation is because we have not lived up to our prophet's description of what an ummah is. If we did, do you think they would dare to attack our brothers and sisters in Kashmir? If we did, do you think our sisters in Kashmir would be raped by Indian soldiers who have no faith? I can't even call them Hindus. I can't even call them Sikhs. I can't even call them Muslims. They are raping our daughters. They are raping our sisters in Kashmir. They are burning our brothers, and they are also destroying houses, mosques, and madrasas. This is the reality on ground in Kashmir. Who knows about it? Hardly anyone. Hardly anyone. Why? 
because the media is not reporting on it. The media, the Indian media has been bought by the Bharat Janta Party, the BJP. Narendra Modi, the guy who's leading India at the moment, this man is not only responsible for what's happening right now as we speak in Kashmir, but he's also responsible for the death of over 1,000 people whilst he was leading the state of Gujarat. He burnt over 1,000 Muslims to ashes. People could not even recognize them whilst they were preparing for the funeral prayers. Whilst this is happening in Kashmir, whilst um, we can't hear the screams of our brothers and sisters out there, we are busy in the West as Muslims, in the East as Muslims, watching what? Bollywood movies. Ham ko tum se pyar hai. Kabi kushi kabi gum. Kabi this, kabi that, right? And we're not doing anything about it. We're still buying Indian products. Yes. Um, the Turkish Prime Minister went over to India, signed uh, business deals. Great, right? The Bangladeshi Prime Minister went over to Delhi, signed more business deals, whilst our brothers and sisters are crying, are starving, are being killed because they are Muslims. We should not forget Kashmir was a Muslim state. Pretty much majority of the people were Muslims. All of a sudden, they decided to inject Hindus decided to inject the Sikhs. They tried to wipe Islam out in that region. They've gone to the point of even banning Zakir Naik. Yes, Zakir Naik's peace TV channel is now banned in India. For what reason? For no reason at all whatsoever. Just because Zakir Naik is doing a great job, right? He gets banned and he, he's not even allowed to go into India. Apparently, he's been endorsing terrorism. Apparently, he's been glorifying terrorism. Apparently, he created terrorists. Where's the proof? There's no proof. And this is what the India, Indian media is playing at. They're trying to push this right-winged Hindu Hindutva agenda, which is not going to work. The people of India are growing up. They are no longer interested in drinking cow urine to cure ailments. They're no longer interested in worshipping the monkey, the snake, these sort of hocus pocus. They also created this fake story about 20,000 Hindu Brahmins being killed in the state of Kashmir at one point. I don't know where they got the 20,000 from, but apparently 20,000 Pandits were killed by Muslims, which is completely unfounded. There is no trace, there is no historical evidence to back this up. However, the majority of India lapped it up without asking any questions at all. And this is the problem with India. We have too many people in India who just sit there and take it. You know, they don't think for themselves. They don't question leaders. Right now, the Indian people are chanting one slogan, Har Har Modi, Gar Gar Modi. They've glorified Modi and they've put him in a position of absolute power. Almost godlike status. This is what the mantra means. Har Har Modi, Gar Gar Modi. You see, he's created a cult. And this guy is dangerous. This guy, what he's doing out there, he knows very well that the Kashmiri people, they're very different. Ethnically, they are not Indians. I urge the British Muslim community, as well as um, Muslim communities all over the world, to lobby your local MP. Send them an email, call them, bombard them with emails, because this cannot continue. These guys have banned WhatsApp, Facebook, Instagram, all sorts of social media. We're talking about a democracy here. India is meant to be one of the largest democracies on this planet. Yet, what are they doing banning people's voices? What is going on in Kashmir? Why can't they show it? Show the evilness of this bastard dictator. Expose 
Modi.